Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about process termination. A process terminates when it finishes its execution and it asks the operating system to delete it by using exit system call. And then all the resources of the process are deallocated by the operating system. A process can cause the termination of another process also by using appropriate system call. And usually such system call can be invoked by a parent process to kill its child process. Now why a parent process needs to kill its child process? Right? Now there are some reasons because of them a parent process needs to terminate the execution of its child process. One is that the task assigned to the child process is no longer needed. So, parent process terminates the execution of this child process. Another reason is that a parent is exiting and the operating system does not allow a child to continue if its parent terminates. And the another reason is the child has exceeded the usage of some of the resources that it has been allocated. Some operating system does not allow a child to access if its parent has been terminated. So when a process terminates, all of its children must also be terminated. So such a phenomena is called cascading termination. Right? 